Hey folks, how's it going? West Coast Emergency Supply here with our very first video and we're making it a good one, that is right. We have the Unication G5 right here in front of us. We're gonna be talking about this device, uh, its capabilities, uh, some accessories for it, as well as pricing. Um, first off here, before we get started, I do wanna let you know I'm recording on my phone. Uh, I don't have any of my uh, um, camera equipment with me today, unfortunately. So we're gonna make this work and uh, I'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities here. So to kind of jump into this device a little bit, first uh, first impressions right off the bat is this is a rugged device. If we take a look around the outside here, on all four corners we have these rubber, uh, kind of a hard rubber uh, bumpers, okay? Now this device can take a beating. It's got some nicks here in the glass. That's not a problem for the hardened glass on the screen. Let's get the screen to wake up for you there so you can take a look at it. Going around the device a little more, right here we have two function buttons. Uh, they're not programmed in the pager's current state right now. Uh, I didn't put them in or I didn't program the anything uh, in during this review. Also, we have a, I believe that's a micro USB there. Uh, this is how you charge the device as well as program it. Uh, now there is also a couple of other um, charging options available for you using the contacts below, which we'll talk about in just a second. So if we turn this device over and we take a look at, let's do this here, take a look at the back of it. We got a nice belt clip here. It says Unication right on the back there. And then we come down here to the bottom, uh, right under those screws under that door there is a, a nice eight hour battery. And that's about what you'll get with this device, eight hours. Uh, given the components inside, uh, depending on how busy your department is, you'll get a bit, a, about eight hours of use out of it. Uh, just because it's constantly scanning, constantly checking, if you're receiving a lot of traffic, um, eight hours is about par for the course there. So we've got uh, a couple of buttons here. This button here is your volume control, turn off and on. And uh, we'll see the screen pop up there with your volume. And then we've got function knob here. Very stiff function knob, very stiff volume knob. Uh, if you hit these, they're not going to change anything by accident or anything. And then right up here we have this, this little indent right here is actually, uh, you push that, it will play back recorded messages if you have that set up, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. And this guy right here is our antenna. And take a look there, 763 to 870 megahertz. Now this particular device is um, comes in two flavors. So this is seven and 800 megahertz, this is dual band. So you can pick VHF or UHF. And if you pick UHF, you have a couple of different options depending on the area that you live in, uh, you can get uh, pretty much all of the UHF range covered. Uh, just let us know when you want to order it, uh, what is the best UHF frequency for you, or where is everybody at in the UHF spectrum. Uh, if you need some assistance with that, we can definitely help you with it. So finishing up our uh, outside tour here, we have uh, four function buttons here right across the front. We have a nice joystick with clicky functions here uh, to navigate you around. We have a back button and we also have a menu button here as well. We can press that and it'll take us into functions of the device. Uh, scroll here, function status, function settings, message box. Uh, like I said, this will key, if you're using like MDC, this device will record MDC. Uh, scan through it here, we have today, I believe that's a calendar. Uh, we have channel setting and we have uh, hardware and pager information for this particular device there. All right, so um, that's the front of the, oh, I forgot to mention the nice speaker. I'll let you guys listen to some audio here in a minute. This, this little tiny speaker puts out some incredible audio quality. I am completely blown away. At the, I mean, this is a small device. Just for comparison here, I've got a Uniden um, BCD 436 HP there. And it's, even with the Uniden stock antenna, you can see how big it is. It fits real nice in your hand. It's almost like a toy. 
I almost feel like I'm, I'm playing with the toy. We'll move the unit in out of the way for a few minutes here. We're gonna talk about this device a little bit more. So coming in, um, this is our demo unit here. We have uh, Spokane Fire Dispatch. Now West Coast Emergency Supply is based out of Spokane, Washington. Uh, here in Spokane, we are running a P25 system uh, for uh, all of the emergency services minus AMR. They're still running on a VHF, which I do have in here, but we will not be listening to today. Uh, this is just for demo purposes. So on this site here, or on this uh, talk group, we just have fire dispatch and we can actually see um, talk group information here by using our joystick. We are on the Spokane uh, Regional Emergency Communications System. And if we scroll down, we can see the system ID is 1095, the site ID is one, and the site name is simulcast. Uh, so if you guys know much about systems, some systems have simulcast, which is basically anywhere you go, uh, you can hear it. Now for this device, I programmed in all of the sites in Spokane County. Um, a lot of people don't know, it, these function a lot like your Motorola radios, uh, such as the APX 7 and 8000 series. Uh, so when they program those radios, they program in all the sites. So as you move around your county, your radio will pick up on a site depending on where you're at. And that's how these function. If I were to take out the simulcast, you would see that it changes the site based on where I am in the county. Kind of a use case for this, I took this device up to Ponderé, uh, Loon Lake area, or I'm sorry, Stevens County, uh, uh, Loon Lake area. Sorry, I keep saying, I want, keep wanting to say uh, Ponderay County. I uh, went up to uh, Loon Lake in Stevens County, uh, the northern end of the lake, and I could still hear um, Spokane County clear as day. And I also have Kootenai County Fire Rescue built into this as well. Um, their site, if you see here, when you're connected to a site, it gives you bars. Um, it will show you, and when you get out of range, it will tell you that you're out of range. This device maintains contact with the sites at all time. So if we scroll through here, we will see the Kootenai County Fire and Rescue doesn't talk as much as Spokane. So I put kind of a couple in here just to test it out, but they're running on the Mount Spokane site. That's the one we're connected to right now. And we have all bars. This is our site ID and this is our system ID here. So you can program in multiple sites if you're in an area or uh, multiple systems, I should say. Uh, if you're in an area that has multiple systems, let me show you here. You see, this is an entirely different system. This is the ICANN. I forget exactly what the uh, acronym is, uh, but they have a uh, Idaho statewide kind of a kind of a statewide system that Co uh, Kootenai County participates in um, so if you're in an area that has multiple sites uh, you could program it in so if I wanted to I could program in all of the frequencies in Idaho that participate in that system I could put in all the freq uh, or all the talk groups I should say I could put all the talk groups in as well as all of the sites and I could basically take it all around Idaho and I won't lose uh, I won't lose anything I'll still be able to listen to everybody uh, communicate and all that so that's kind of cool so if you live in an area uh, that's got multiple sites you can program those in there um, so that's that's a good thing if you if you uh, live in an area um, that would take advantage of that so um, also went out to Coeur d'Alene. Um, if you know anything about the Coeur d'Alene area, um, at the, uh, most Eastern portion of Lake Coeur d'Alene, it kind of runs along the highway, I-90 a little bit before you start going up a mountain, kind of a mountain, I guess. Uh, and I still had connection to Spokane system. So the range with this, just this little antenna is perfect. Um, didn't get DNR, which I do have uh, Washington State Department of Natural Resources plugged into this as well. Uh, they don't, their system is kind of ending here, so um, there's not much going on with them. But uh, I was not able to hear them where I was. Uh, obviously, they're running just a, a VHF for their particular area. Uh, repeat, excuse me, repeated frequency. 
Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to hear him out in Coeur d'Alene. But that's not a problem because, uh, you know, that's going to be more in your area, um, especially with this particular device. More than likely, you're going to be in one area all the time. So uh, just something to be aware of. So if we go back here, we're going to hopefully catch a call. Oh, and we see here the site changed. We went to site nine. You can see that here on the display screen. So if I scroll down, we're on now the Mount Spokane site and we have complete uh, coverage. We're still connected to the system 100%. So it did change the site while we were talking. And it, it will do that. Um, just because we were switching back and forth, it will pick up the site that gives it the best signal uh, in that area. So kind of a little more information here on the screen. You can put a logo in there. We have our logo. It's kind of hard to see with the white and black. Uh, you can put in um, a unit number or a person number if you need to in the display. Uh, we've got some battery information right up there, and that's our on-duty status. Um, let's see. We also have our zones here. You can take a look at our different zones. We've got a couple programmed in there. I just threw those in there for... For testing this bad boy out and um, uh, hoping for some traffic here while we're at it let's do a, a playback here so you guys heard that there that was recorded just by pressing this little button you can play back the recordings it will keep recordings um, you can set voice recording for different frequencies uh, 4p25 and talk groups and such uh, if you wanted it to record two-tone messages you could totally do that too two-tone five-tone um, as well as various different systems like Motorola uh, Placetron I think is what it's called I, I think I might be butchering that um, but there are a lot of use cases for this device. Uh, I'm finding more and more every day. This really is built for a pager. This is, um, this is marketed as a pager um, for areas that utilize digital paging, uh, as well as, you know, maybe you have an area that um, you are on a VHF system uh, and you need the paging capability, but right next door you've got somebody that's running... Uh, P25 and you need to be uh, up on what they're doing because you respond in that area. Uh, so that's kind of the use case too. Uh, another use case would be uh, you've got a volunteer uh, in an area that's P25 need the VHF capability as well to hear like here in our area uh, DNR uh, they respond a lot with DNR but they're but your primary radio system is P25. Um, you can flip the knob over listen to it and um, you can flop back over when you're done uh, so they can assign these radios or I should say receivers these are not radios you cannot transmit with these uh, it is just a receiver um, you can assign these you'll be able to hear and uh, you'll be able to get where you're going uh, like if you need to listen on your way to a station or maybe you're in a different kind of volunteer capacity and you need to be able to hear uh, command talking, uh, your assigned resources somewhere, and your department doesn't want to go out and spend thousands on an APX 7000 or an 8000 radio, these are available for you. A um, couple of different use cases. More, uh, more of a uh, different use case uh, than what this would be used for is uh, turning it into a scanner. And everybody knows uh, unit and scanners classic uh, unit in uh, BCD 436 HP here um, people are finding that uh, the unications actually operate better uh, on their p25 systems than the unit ins uh, or a, a consumer grade scanner uh, that's because these are purpose-built these are built with the purpose they're professional grade devices and uh, their intended purpose is in a professional capacity, but you can program it any way that you want it. Anybody can buy these. Anybody can set them up any way that they want. Um, this is going to receive better. It's going to pick things up a lot better. You're going to hear things better than you will with this, just, just because of the application that this is aimed towards. Um, 
and unfortunately, you know, if this if this had everything put in this, uh, you would see these uh, more expensive. Um, but this also does a lot more than this. The Uniden, uh, you can uh, listen to DMR, Nextend, those type of systems. With this, you can't. I think there's DMR support coming for this, uh, maybe in another firmware update, but as of right now, I uh, don't believe there's DMR support for this. This is just VHF, UHF, P25 conventional and P25 um, trumped. So um, there's things that this will do that this will not, and there's things that this will do that this will not. So uh, back and forth, you just gotta choose what you want. Uh, again, this is gonna be on the more expensive side. This has a purpose. But you can set this up the same way that you would your, your unit in scanner for those that want those options. And, and um, people are using them more and more and more and more these days. So kind of go back here while we're waiting for a call to come through. Uh, these contacts here on the bottom, I mentioned them uh, in the beginning. Uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, accessories that this will work with. So we have just a standard uh, drop-in charger. You just drop, uh, drop it in at the end of the night and it will charge maybe on a nightstand. Maybe you need it next to you, have it turned on all the time. Uh, we have that accessory available as well as a, um, a drop-in amplifier. Kind of the same thing as the drop-in charging base, but it's got a speaker on the front of it. Um, maybe if you deep sleep or if you need to hear things a little more uh, loudly, uh, or if you put it in a station, that amplified charging base will cover you. It, on the back of the amplified charging base, it's also got a BNC connector, uh, as well as a um, microphone out. Uh, I believe it's got a um, USB out, and it's got a couple of other cool options. So if you wanted to, uh, if you have a two-tone system set up and the tones drop, uh, you could set up uh, the... Um, amplifying base to, to flash a light, play a siren, uh, or open a garage door. And those are just some of the examples that you could do with it. Um, if you need that capability, you could have it open your station door. If you want to leave this by a, 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 an apparatus where you drop it in, uh, once a tone drop, it will open up the, um, the device. You'll hear the audio come through just like you would with your old Minotaurs. Uh, even even the Minotaurs now, or even a G1. If you have a G1, it'll do the same thing uh, that a G1 will do. Um, so this is this is kind of becoming the new standard for paging. Uh, it's really, really come a long way. Now this isn't Poxag, so if you live in an area like we do here in Spokane, um, we use alphanumeric digital paging. Um, this won't decode any of that. You will need a separate pager. But if you're up north in like Stevens County, where they still do uh, two-tone or five-tone paging, this device will work fine for you. If you live in Spokane and you want to hear what's going on, uh, if you're in Spokane and you have an agency, you're an agency, you want to uh, assign this instead of assigning a, a radio that costs a lot of money, um, you could assign one of these. Uh, Lots of use cases, I'm just gonna say that. So the programming for these are pretty pretty easy. Uh, it can get kind of detailed, kind of complicated, um, but I think it's worth it. Um, trying to get a call to come through here. So you guys can hear the quality of it. Nothing's coming through right now, I don't have any calls. Let's see, Let's see if I can get some see if we can get some uh, traffic going here. And also still, if you see here, we're still on the Mount Spokane, it hasn't switched. It hasn't switched back over to simulcast, which is with, if you have a simulcast system, more than likely you're gonna stay on the simulcast site. Um, if you don't, you'll see, uh, if you don't have a simulcast site, you'll see that your device um, will swap back and forth. And uh, it, like I said, this device maintains connection with the, uh, with the radio system. If you get out of range, it will give you a red out of range notification. When you come back in, it will give you a notification as well for that. Um, I'm just not getting any traffic. Let's try DNR again here. 
Mm, traffic for DNR. Let's go back to dispatch and see what's dispatch C. Then you can see that it changed back to the simulcast site. So if we come down here, we're back on simulcast. So it will pick um, whatever uh, system you have put in here um, that has the best connection. And like I said, if, if you live in an area that has a simulcast site, more than likely it's going to be on the simulcast site all the time. But... I recommend you put all of the sites in for your device. That way, like if you go out of the area and your simulcast site doesn't, uh, uh, you, you're out of the range of the simulcast radius, then another site could pick up the slack and you would be able to hear it. So you would continue, uh, and the, the switch will do automatically. It does the switch automatically without you having to do anything. As long as you have uh, the sites and the frequencies programmed in, um, you have them programmed in properly. It'll it'll take care of everything for you behind the scenes. So not hearing anything come through right now, which is kind of a surprise when I tried to do this recording earlier. It was talking like crazy. Anyway, so if you folks are interested in one of these bad boys, right now they're on sale uh, until December 21st. They are the same price as a G4. Incredible, incredible savings uh, for these devices. You can give us a call right there, 833 four 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 seven six four three again that's eight three three four 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 seven six four three we here at west coast emergency or supply are running a special as well if you purchase a g4 a g5 from us uh you can we'll we'll program for you for free so if you purchase a g4 or a g5 uh we will program that device for you for free and that goes for anybody any agency any single person that wants a wants a device we will get it programmed up for you, not a problem. And that runs through December 21st as well, kind of how Unication has their sale going on right now. So uh, kind of hoping to get some, some audio in here for you guys. Let's see if uh, we go over dispatch frequencies. Hmm. Not much is going on right now. It's kind of, kind of a lull in activity, I guess you could say. if we get anything here. Yeah, so if you have any questions, you can chat with us on the site. You can give us a phone call. Uh, either way, um, we can get you taken care of for all of your communication devices. We also do offer the G1 as well. Uh, there are G1 accessories. Uh, I will be doing a video on the G1 here in the next couple of days as well, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, here we go. Echo call. Spokane Quint 13. Engine 2. Spokane 30. 3607. North Atlantic. Notice the... Channel City Primary. Cardiac Arrest. The recording here. So you can set it up to record um, if you need to, so I can play that back. Yeah, so you can re you can set that up to record, uh, excuse me, anything that you need, uh, any frequency that you want. So I just had it set to record fire dispatch. MVA Bravo, Spokane Engine 15, North Pittsburgh Street and East Francis Avenue, Channel City Primary, MVA. So you can kind of, that gives you a couple, couple ideas of the audio quality there. I just had it set to record fire dispatch. Um, that way, if I miss something, I can go back and play it. Uh, I also have it set to record other frequencies as well, just just in case you need to go back and listen to it, and that's incredibly helpful in case you miss something, you need to hear what it says. This device actually will also record voice memos for you. I don't have it set up to demonstrate for you, uh, but you can. there's a lot of customization options available for this device. Um, if you're an agency, you have the on-duty, off-duty. Uh, this device will also play tones when a, a call is received. It will also play, or it will also vibrate um, as well if you want to be a little stealthy. Whenever a call is received, it'll vibrate for you as well. 
A lot of options with this G5. Definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Uh, if you have any questions, again, our uh, contact information, 833-444-7643. Uh, I will include the pricing information on our website for this device. Uh, I will also include some links to the product uh, in this video, in the description, I should say, of this video uh, that we're going to put on our YouTube channel here. So. I appreciate your time today. I appreciate you guys taking a look. And again, uh, we're available anytime. I'll include our contact information down below. Um, anything else we can do for you if you uh, are a existing G5 or G4 or a G1 owner for that matter, uh, and you need some assistance programming it, we can get you taken care of as well. Um, you can send in your device and we can program it for you for a fee. But again, right now we're, we're running a special along with Unication. This is this is just our special. Uh, this isn't anybody else's. Um, if you purchase a G4 or a G5 from us uh, right now while the promotion's going on, we through December 21st, we will program your G4 or G5 for you for free. Uh, we will also do that for the G1 if you purchase that as well. Right now, that is $50 off the uh, normal price for a G1. So, All right, folks, one last listen. Engine 3, engine 13. Valley 31, Valley 22, Valley 21, Engine 85, 815 North Swing Street, Channel Fire Ops 15, Hazmat Natural Gas Problem. All right, folks, last call of the day ended it on a hazmat call. So, um, again, if you have any questions, hit us up. We're more than happy to assist you in all of your unication needs or anything else. we got a lot of great products on our site. we got Boston Leather, MyMedic. Uh, we also have scanners such as the Uniden uh, BCD 436 HP as well. So if you're in the market for anything, uh, get on our site. I'll link it down below, and uh, we can take care of you. Thanks, folks. You have a great day. Bye-bye.